Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. In this video, we are checking out two Les Pauls, one from Gibson, one from Epiphone. Should be a lot of fun. Here we go. All right, you guys, well, here are the Les Pauls. On one hand, we've got the Gibson Les Paul Tribute. This one is $12.99, one of Gibson's most affordable Les Pauls. On the other hand, we've got the Epiphone 1959, kind of reissue inspired guitar, 850 bucks. So we've got a pretty expensive Epiphone versus a more affordable Gibson. Here we go. All right, so let's start with a feature comparison, what you get from each guitar when you buy it, which one offers the better value. Then we'll go ahead and move into a head-to-head -head tone comparison. This is gonna be pretty interesting because that Epiphone 1959 comes from the factory with Gibson Burst Bucker pickups, uh, Switchcraft three-way switch and output jack CTS pots. So from the factory, that Epiphone is stacked with some pretty great electronics and of course versus the actual Gibson. So we'll do that in a second, but here we go. Let's find out what you get with each guitar. Well, let's start with the cases. The Gibson Les Paul Tribute comes with a very nice heavy duty gig bag. Now make no mistake, this is an excellent case. Even though it's not a hard shell, this will protect your guitar. Now as for the Epi, well you get a very nice hard shell case with the guitar. It's even got sort of vintage inspired hardware on there and you open it up, boom, there you go. So a very nice vintage inspired case for the Epiphone. So point one goes to the Epi. Right, next up, let's throw these two models on the scale. Now, when it comes to buying Les Pauls, well, considering the weight is something I think you should consider. If you're just gonna be playing it at home, well, maybe weight won't be a huge deal, but if you're gonna stand with your guitar, you know, throw a strap on there and, you know, play it for hours, well, considering the weight is probably very important. So the Les Paul Tribute has what Gibson calls their ultra modern weight relief, and I'm not sure if this Epiphone has any. It definitely feels heavier in the hand than the Gibson, but let's go over to the scale and find out exactly how much. All right, so let's start with the Gibson Les Paul Tribute. Now, I knew exactly how much this guitar was gonna weigh because Sweetwater lists the weight of their guitars. So absolutely fantastic. As you guys can see, about 8.2 pounds for the Gibson. And as I mentioned, that has Gibson's weight relief. Now for the 1959 from Epiphone, I'm not sure what the weight relief is, but let's go ahead and throw it on the scale. And we're talking, well, about 8.4 pounds, maybe somewhere right in there. So a little bit heavier on the Epiphone, not night and day. So just over eight for the Gibson, about 8.4 for the Epiphone. All right, so let's talk about guitar specs. Now I'll link to both in the video description below so you can get the detailed specs, but here's the long story short. This is Epiphone's kind of collaboration with the Gibson Custom Shop to create an affordable reissue guitar. So everything about this is pretty much original spec. Well. Epiphone's version of original spec. There's even, you know, a nice little write up here where it says, you know, about the pots, the electronics, uh, the collaboration with the Gibson Custom Shop. Now, bear in mind, this is not going to necessarily compete with like an R8 or an R9, but unless you're a collector or that's like your absolute dream guitar, well, just buy this anyway. It's going to get you, you know, three quarters of the way there. <laughs> so all the specs are, you know, as you would expect from an old school Les Paul. So, Mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, mahogany body. Uh, it does have a full thickness maple cap, but the flame is a veneer. So bear that in mind. Uh, it's got sort of a faded finish to go with that theme. As I mentioned, super high-end uh, American electronics right from Gibson. Uh, Graph Tech nut, Epiphone's version of vintage tuning machines. Just take a shot for you guys. And that's pretty much it. Now, bear in mind, as I said, uh, it's not gonna be like a vintage Les Paul, although it does have the long tenon and everything. Like they, they did some pretty good work on this guitar to make it vintage, but you can see here, it's stacked uh, mahogany. So the neck isn't a full width uh, mahogany neck like you'd get on a Gibson. So you can see two pieces there to make up, you know, the, the heel width joint and the scarf joint up there. It's not one piece of mahogany like you'll find on a Gibson, but man, this is a great guitar. And like I said, gets you almost there. Now, as for the Gibson Les Paul Tribute, well, it's a completely different guitar. That high-end Epiphone had pretty much every spec you could want from a vintage style Les Paul, including a 1959 neck carve, that long tenon joint, Gibson electronics, all those things I've mentioned. When we talk about the Gibson Les Paul Tribute, well, 
they kind of still market it as sort of being inspired by those vintage Les Pauls, but it's a very, you know, simplified version. No binding on this one. Uh, where I do miss that is on the neck. I do like the neck binding for Les Paul, so I do miss that, I gotta be honest, but they're all plecked, so the Epiphone's not gonna get the plecked. Uh, Gibson will, which means it goes through a machine. Uh, it all levels the frets, so you should have no fret buzz. You know, all the fret work should be very nice um, on all these Gibsons. So that's a nice kind of feature that the Epiphone does not get. Um, it has Gibson tuning machines, whereas the Epiphone had the Epiphone versions. They both have Graftech nuts, which I think is good. This one actually has the maple neck and it looks like a one piece maple neck. It's possible they could be hiding a little bit of a scarf joint, you know, under the sh shading, but it's so good. I think it's one piece. So that's another up, you know, versus the Epiphone, which was a multiple uh, layered mahogany neck. And these ones have the 490 pickups. So we're gonna test those out in a second. And in my individual review, I did like these pickups quite a bit. So there you guys go. Satin finishes on both of them. Uh, this one also has the higher end uh, bridge and stop tail piece. So the hardware is a little bit nicer on the Gibson as well versus the Epiphone. But that's kind of like a quick, you know, one minute rundown on both guitars. Now let's plug them in and test out the tones. So today I'll be plugging into my Marshall. I'll take you guys through some crunch tones, some heavy tones and some clean tones. And let's just compare this high end Epiphone versus this basic Gibson. Here we go. Let's take a listen to these guitars. So here are my final thoughts on these two guitars, high-end Epiphone or basic Gibson. Well, when it comes to value, I don't think it's any surprise. The Epiphone offers a ton more. At $850 versus $1299, there's about $450 difference between these guitars. And of course you get the hard shell case, you get premium electronics, um, a great guitar. The only downside for some people might be, well, it says Epiphone on the headstock. Other than that, you get the long tenon joint, you get the 1959 carve, all that kind of stuff. Now, as for the Gibson and really any legacy, you know, guitar brand, this still means something to some people. To see Gibson on that headstock, um, it's missing a ton of features that the Epiphone has. It's $450 more. So it's really up to you um, in terms of the tone that you heard. It is lighter, it is plecked, uh, it does have better hardware, that kind of stuff. So it's really up to you whether that's you know a greater value in terms of the tones. Very similar guitars, both of them are gonna give you classic Les Paul tones. So I hope you guys found this comparison helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking my face right here. All the links to the guitars, t-shirt store, tab store, the gear I use, that's all down in the video description below. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.